Hello YouTube, I have a bit of a project I'm going to undertake. Um, you can see kind of behind me, this is my game room. Um, I've got my little futon right there, I've got my TV over there, and my old school consoles over there. Um, the biggest problem that I have is my little bitty desk that is next to the door. I don't have a whole lot of space with it. Um, let me flip the camera around. So here is my little bitty desk. Now, the problem is, is that... First of all, the desk isn't very high, and I am very, very tall. Um, the other problem is I can't actually get under the desk because my chair just kind of bumps into it. So I can't really play games where I need to control the mouse and keyboard constantly because I'm always leaning forward, um, which makes it very uncomfortable. Um, and then, of course, there's this kind of almost useless storage shelf over here on the right of this stupid desk that uh, doesn't do many favors and just takes up more leg room. Um, so I've got a bit of a project in mind. So here is my plan for my desk. Uh, the one that I have in there right now is about uh, 37 by 20 inches. Um, the amount of wall space I have is exactly 37 inches. Um, but uh, like I said, I have no leg room because the bars underneath and then the, the shelves on the right hand side of it um, have a tendency to make it hard for me to get my legs underneath it. Um, I can't get close to the monitor. I want to get my big belly underneath and recline in my chair and all that other good stuff. So um, now this is the weird thing, right? I have this, which is an old tabletop or desktop from something we had many years ago. Um, it has sat in the garage probably for 10 years. I don't know where I, I can't remember what we used it for or where I got it or why we put it in the garage, but I figured when I put it in the garage, I must have thought that I would find some use for it someday. Now, the problem is, is that this table across is 47 inches. And like I said, I only have 37 inches of wall space. So I'm going to take, because there's a slight curve in this, I am going to take five inches from either end. Um, so I'm going to just, I'm going to remove all of that border. I'm going to paint this anyway, probably black. Um, so the laminate top doesn't matter, but I'm going to remove the border and uh, cut five inches from either end. And then I'm going to use some of this leftover wood that I got from making a gate uh, to build some um, kind of L-frame brackets with an angle on them uh, to hold the desk against the wall. Um, I've already found the studs in there, so I'm going to secure uh, secure them to studs in, in, in the in the game room, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Next step, as you can see, I've made my lines for my cuts on either side. So I'm going to use my handy little dandy uh, six-inch saw here and just go through it. All right, cuts made, and as you can see, right at 37 inches. I'm no engineer. Um, I just have some scrap pieces of wood and an idea. So I've got these two boards. Actually, I've got more than two of them that are six feet long. And then I've got four of these, which are just over 31 inches long. Um, from They're just scrap from another project I completed. Um, I'm thinking that I have four of these in particular. I was going to make two-foot support structures, but I think I'll just use the 31 and a halves because... Like I said, I've got four of them. So basically, the plan is that these will go like this. So there'll be a 90 degree angle there. Um, and then there will be a 45 degree angled bit of wood going between them, probably about two feet long. Uh, let's see how it works. More or less a 90 degree angle, don't you think? All right, let's uh, do some preliminary holes here. All right. The idea here is to get the angle piece. So we've got, I've made markings on here to separate these into two fit pieces. It's my first completed uh, L-frame. So that is roughly what it will look like, except it's upside down against the wall. How the hell did he scratch up the nice surface of that table? That is because I'm gonna go buy some countertop paint. While my fabrication is done, I got my tabletop, I've painted it. There's some junk in the paint that's dusty in the garage. I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, and then there's, those are my brackets. So once that all dries, it'll be time to try hanging it. Okay, what I've done here is I have drawn a level line. Um, on the left-hand side, I've pre-drilled some holes. There's actually a stud there. Um, on the right-hand side, I've just hung some anchors in there. Um, and now I'm going to go get the little things that I made and drill those into the wall. And then hopefully drill the desk into the things and then be done with it. Okay, so those are hung. Let's get the tabletop. She is, folks, all hung. Look at that. Project well done. And here it is, everybody, the final desk project. Um, I added a shelf for my monitor, um, also mounted to the wall. 
Um, but as you can see, I have much more desk space, and just like an adult, I can get up underneath it, get my legs under there, uh, got plenty of room to work, it's awesome.